Hello, I'm Dr. Marty Ross. In this video, learn why thyroid and adrenal dysfunction can occur in Lyme disease, how you can identify this problem, and the steps you can take to correct them. If you have further questions after seeing the video, click on a link to a full written article that I have. It's included in the video description. Treat Lyme is supported by purchases you make through Marty Ross MD Supplements. Hello, Nancy. Let's see, are there any tips you can offer Lyme patients for trying to normalize thyroid levels and deal with adrenal fatigue? Um, I have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Uh, Hashimoto's, everyone's, is a type of thyroid illness and recently transitioned to nature thyroid. Okay, so um, Nancy let me, and everyone, let me talk to you about hormonal dysfunction in Lyme and, and how it can occur, and then we'll talk about what to do to normalize it. Um, so, uh, so in Lyme disease, as I've already said, Lyme disease is a syndrome of excess cytokines, okay? And you're going to hear me mention that again and again and again through tonight's webinar because it really is a concept that governs a lot of what happens in this illness, okay? So how do cytokines relate to hormones? Well, there's an area of the brain that is supposed to regulate your thyroid and your adrenal glands and your ovaries basically all of your hormone systems, okay? And that area is called the um, hypothalamus and pituitary. Um, and so the hypothalamus pituitary releases chemicals that talk to the adrenal glands to say, make your stuff. And they release chemicals that talk to the thyroid to say, make your stuff. And it releases those chemicals based on its interpretation of what is happening with the hormonal systems. But here's the problem. The hypothalamus pituitary in Lyme gets drunk on cytokines. Not literally, but I mean figuratively, it actually gets drunk on cytokines. The excess cytokines interfere with the ability of the hypothalamus pituitary to correctly interpret the hormonal environment. And therefore, it does not correctly release its chemicals to tell the thyroid or the adrenals or even your ovarian systems what to do. In fact, they're made erroneously, so measuring them may give you incorrect information about what is really happening with the adrenals or really happening with the thyroid, for instance, okay? All right, so one reason you can have hormonal dysfunction is from excess cytokines, okay? So Nancy, one of the first things that I would suggest that you do is start curcumin. And I'll show you wh what I mean by that, but remember I said so curcumin from the last uh, question I answered, Curcumin is one of my favorite uh, ways of lowering excess cytokines. Uh, in terms of our own treatment guidelines and treatment plans, we call it a required supplement. We think it is something that everyone with Lyme should be on throughout their Lyme disease treatment because it regulates the cytokines, it knocks them down. And in this case, with adrenal and thyroid problems, you want to enter, you want to knock those cytokines down so the brain may start helping better to regulate these hormone systems, okay? So it's 500 milligrams three times a day, okay? So that's number one, that's the first thing I would do. Okay, secondly, you need to figure out whether you truly have, sim because we can't rely on the brain chemicals, and for instance, with uh, thyroid, most doctors will measure something called thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, which is the brain chemical. And if it's normal, we say the brain must be right, therefore thyroid is regulated. Well, that's wrong. In this disorder, you've got to look at symptoms. And if somebody has enough symptoms of low thyroid, even if the TSH is normal, and even if their T4 thyroid hormone and their T3 thyroid hormone is normal, that means they're in normal range, you give them thyroid because even if they're in normal range and they have low thyroid symptoms, it means you move them into higher normal range. You don't treat a test, you treat the person, okay? So symptoms of low thyroid, everyone, that I manage my patients by is if somebody's got cold intolerance or they have hair loss or they have dry skin or they have difficulty um, losing weight, um, those are all signs potentially of low thyroid. And the main one I follow in treatment actually is cold intolerance, okay? So if somebody has a T3 or T4 thyroid that is in normal range, but they have symptoms of low thyroid, I'm going to give them thyroid. And I'll talk about your nature thyroid here in just a minute, Nancy, all right? Now, the other thing to consider when thyroid is low is also what is happening with the adrenal glands. So the adrenal glands release a hormone uh, called cortisol, 
and cortisol helps support the body under stress. Uh, the adrenal glands also make uh, 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 mineral corticoids, which are things that regulate uh, salt uh, and mineral retention uh, by the kidneys, and your adrenals make adrenaline, okay? Now, the um, adrenal cortex, the part that actually makes cortisol, is regulated by the hypothalamus pituitary. And what did I already say? Well, it's not going to regulate it correctly because of the excess cytokines, all right? So, and even the blood measurements, as I've said, is not always accurate. So with adrenals, I also regulate based on what the symptoms are, all right? So symptoms of low adrenals are dizziness on first standing, uh, afternoon crashing, worse than the morning, uh, uh, hypoglycemia, where you need to eat something constantly to avoid having low sugar, okay? Those are some signs of low adrenals. Now, if you have enough signs of low adrenals, you should treat low adrenals. And when you treat low adrenals, that will also support the thyroid gland to start working better as well, too. So when I've got somebody that may have low thyroid, to help them do better with thyroid, there's two things I do right away in line. One, be on curcumin. Number two, make sure there isn't low adrenals. And if there are low adrenals, correct it. And what I like to use to correct the low adrenals is to support them by using an herb called ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is an Ayurvedic East Indian herb that helps the adrenals to work better, okay? And if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna start using thyroid medication. And what I like to use is something like the Nature Throid. Nature Throid, everyone, is basically ground up thyroid gland from pork. It's natural. It is not synthetic, and it probably works better than the synthetic versions of, um, of thyroid. And I like it because of that, okay? So Nancy, I guess that's a long-winded question response, but first of all, uh, get on some curcumin. Number two, correct adrenal fatigue if it's there by using ashwagandha. And if that's not enough, then work with the nature throat and you can do all of those together, okay?